Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to inverse operations, where we will be converting addition calculations into subtraction calculations. Addition is the inverse of subtraction, and subtraction is the inverse of addition. Inverse means opposite, so addition and subtraction are opposite operations. For example, 10 plus 2 equals 12. Two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Remember the inverse of addition is subtraction, so let's write this as a subtraction calculation. Because we are subtracting, we need to have the biggest number at the start. The biggest number is 12. Next we want to take away a number. We can choose either 10 or 2 because they are both smaller than 12. Let's choose 10. And finally, here we can move the 2. We now have 12 take away 10 equals 2. Let's look at another way that we could arrange this. We are subtracting, so the largest number must go at the start. This is 12. Either 10 or 2 can go here. This time we'll choose 2. Finally, we can move the 10. 12 take away 2 equals 10. So we have 12 take away 10 equals 2, and 12 take away 2 equals 10. As long as the largest number is at the start, the order of the two smaller numbers doesn't matter. Here's another example. 10 add 5 equals 15. Two smaller numbers add to make a larger number. Let's change this into a subtraction. For a subtraction, we need to have the largest number at the start. The largest number is 15. In the next space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. Let's choose 10. Finally, we can move the 5 into the last space. 15 take away 10 equals 5. Let's look at another way that we could write this as a subtraction. Again, for a subtraction, we must have the largest number at the start. The largest number is 15. In the next space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll have 5. In the final space, we'll have 10. 15 Take away 5 equals 10. So we have 15 take away 10 equals 5 and 15 take away 5 equals 10. We have the largest number at the start and the order of the two smaller numbers can be swapped. In our final example, we have 30 plus 4 equals 34. Two smaller numbers add to make a larger number. To change this into a subtraction, the first number must be the largest. The largest number is 34. In the next space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. We'll put 30 in this space. Finally, we can move the 4 into the last space. 34 take away 30 equals 4. Let's look at another way that we could write this. Because we are subtracting, we must put the largest number at the beginning of our calculation. The largest number is 34. In the next space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll move 4 here. And in the final space, we'll write 30. 34, take away 4, equals 30. 
So we have 34 take away 30 equals 4, and 34 take away 4 equals 30. The largest number must be at the start, and the order of the two numbers can be swapped. Here are some questions for you to try. Write two inverse operations for the following. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 10 plus 6 equals 16. We write the largest number at the beginning. 16 is the largest number. In the next space, we can write either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll write 10. In the final space, we'll write 6. 16 take away 10 equals 6. Alternatively, we could write it like this. The largest number must go at the start. That number is 16. This time, we'll subtract 6. And in the final space, we'll have 10. 16 take away 6 equals 10. Question 2. 10 plus 9 equals 19. The largest number must be at the start of our subtraction. In the next space, we can have either 10 or 9. This time, we'll subtract 10. And in the final space, we'll have 9. 19 take away 10 equals 9. For the second calculation, we must still begin the subtraction with the largest number. Again, this is 19. This time, we'll subtract 9. And this equals 10. 19 take away 9 equals 10. Question 3. 20 plus 7 equals 27. The largest number goes at the start, followed by either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll write 20. In the final space we must write 7. 27 take away 20 equals 7. Now for the second subtraction. Again, 27 must be at the start. This time we'll subtract 7. And so it must equal 20. 27 take away 7 equals 20. Question 4. 50 plus 3 equals 53. The largest number goes at the start. This is 53. It is followed by either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll write 50. In the final space we must write 3. 53 take away 50 equals 3. Now for the second subtraction. Again, 53 is the largest number, so it must go at the start. This time, we'll subtract 3. And so the final number must be 50. 53 take away 3 equals 50. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.